Alright, yeah, and welcome back to some more RimWorld Alpha 16. So, this time around, we're going to be doing some mods. So, the mod that we're going to be playing around with is actually the Medieval Times mod, which is kind of a little bit of an overhaul on RimWorld. It kind of turns everything into a med medieval style thing. So, we're going to start off simple with a nice little overhaul. Maybe the next time we do modded, we'll chuck a ton of stuff in. But for now, I think I'm just going to play around with Medieval Times because it looks like a lot of fun. So, we're going to make a new colony. I think we're going to go with the Lost Tribe because it seems the most fitting for this kind of scenario. So, yet again, I think I'm going to go extreme. But we're going to be a little bit more proactive on stuff this time around. Going to make sure that we have uh, everything we need so we don't starve to death, which is essentially what our big problem was going to be before. And I suppose we'll go a little bit hotter than usual. Maybe a little bit more rainfall as well. And turn into a rainforest. Randomize the seed to politician. Alright. And we'll just leave 30% on that. I don't think we're going to do the uh, the nomad strats this time for our victory condition. I think we'll go through the tech tree all the way to the spaceship stuff since we're starting on the tribe. Because I do believe you still have all of the guns and stuff like that. It's just that um, the early game kind of tribe stuff is set around. We also have some extra factions as well. Uh, which are these guys over here. And then we also have normal tribes and stuff like that. Tribes and colonists. So, one slightly hotter than normal. So I think we're going to settle somewhere in the desert this time around. Maybe since we're going to be doing kind of fortifications and stuff like that, we might want to do like uh, large hills or something like that. It seems like if we were going to build a fort, it would be onto the side of a mountain, like the dwarves. We'll go with this one, I guess. Summer temperature 40 degrees, winter temperature 11. Year-round growing temperature is the one that we can restrict the growing temperature on. 40 days on this one. Okay, yeah, we'll go with this one. All right, and go. So I'm gonna go through all of these guys. I'm gonna randomize them until I'm pretty happy with what we see, and then we'll go through it. Alright, so we have randomised until we've got some fairly average people on our team. So we've got Bourne, who is pretty well start sorted out, got decent enough traits. Fast Walker and Teetotaler, which means they do not use drugs or an alcohol of any kind, which is alright for us. Then we've got an ugly pyromaniac. We don't have the best people in the world. I've, I've made a point to make sure that we have some people that have got some negative traits here and there, so pyromaniac is a little annoying. And decent enough melee attack, I imagine that's going to be quite relevant. And we've got our cook as well, who is lazy and abrasive as well. So they work a lot slower and they piss people off by the sounds of it. So then we have our medic as well. Got a little bit of malnutrition, that should go in no time at all. But you are a psychopath teetotaling gay person, so that's interesting. Um, Psychopath is actually quite useful for us. It means that they don't really care if they see dead bodies and selling to slavery and stuff like that, which can be useful for us. And then we've got our grower as well. So I just made sure that we have like a grower, a medicine guy, and a cook, and then the rest can just do the random jobs. You're pretty good at construction as well, so yeah. Um, if you want to name them, be sure to leave them in the comments section below. We have quite a fair few people to choose from of varying genders, actually. They're all female. I thought one of them at least was male. Nope, they're all females. Alright, we've got like an Amazon team here, which is pretty interesting. Alright, let's go. 
All right. The gods were very angry. The blood machines came at night. They swept through your village, cutting and burning your people with their blades and devil fire. Only a few of you escaped. Now, after a harrowing journey on foot with no close friends to turn to, you must build your own, a new home in the wilderness, like your ancestors did. And we have landed. All right. So as you can see, everybody's got their melee weapons. We were going to have that anyway, being tribes, but... I've also got some bows as well, so maybe somebody's going to be quite good. So the resource we're going to struggle with is wood, since we're in the desert. We also need to worry about temperature just a little bit, so I think maybe settling inside this area here, because you can cool yourselves down quite nicely inside caves. It's just that natural cooling um, available, so that might be where we go. We've apparently got ourselves a pet monkey called Rugrat. Gil, a husky, and Bambina, a cat. All right, fair enough. Right, so I think we're going to mine into here. I think this is going to be where we set up our fortification and stuff like that. We do need growing zones and stuff like that, so we're going to have to set things like this area to grow because we're not really set up for much in terms of growing zones nearby here anyway. I suppose we could like grow here and just sort of leave it because I don't think raiders are going to really burn down our fields, but the same token, that's a little annoying. That being said, we could just sort of settle on this area as well. Maybe just use this as our growing zone. So let's set growing zones up. I'm going to make more food than normal this time around because we ran out of food quite quickly and I don't really want to do that again. So, we've got potatoes, we're going to have, let's say, corn, why not? And then, heel root, I think we've got somebody who's got growing of eight, let me check. Ten, yes, alright, so we can make some heel root, and in this spot, I'm not sure. Maybe just some more rice, more food, essentially. Yeah, why not? Okay, so that's our growing zone. We're going to have to wall that off. So I guess we'll wall the bottom bit off here and then work our way around. And this is going to be our area. Most of our structures are going to be inside, I reckon. So that's fine. We'll set up a stockpile zone right here for those guys to start doing their thing. So we'll set that to go. Hunter lacks weapon. Oh yeah, we've got to uh, organize some of that stuff as well. We do have some decent miners, right? Six... And five. Alright, fair enough. We'll let them sort out the growing stuff. And then we'll start mining into the cave. I'm going to have to work on keeping that cool as well. Because it's going to get hot quite quickly. By the looks of things. But as soon as we can get our stockpile stuff sorted. Then we can start organising who has what weapons and things like that. And how we want to construct our base. So, in the new medieval stuff, we've got a fair few things. We've got storage pots, which I'm not sure how to create just yet, because it seems like it needs it needs a thing. I'm stored in this will not deteriorate even if outside. So it requires one pot that we don't have. I guess we craft that. We also have a corpse bonfire. You should note that this is um, not a perfect mod as well. So if you look at the description. It's got some of the stuff that probably shouldn't be there. But I imagine this is how we burn corpses. Um, just to keep our place area... Uh, our place area? Our place clean. Then we have gardening boxes, which I'm assuming are like hydroponics areas. But with the added issue of just being one tile and costing 25 wood. But we can set these on sand and stuff like that. And then ice gathering, which we're in the desert, so I don't think that's going to be relevant. Other things that are in here, we don't have any power. We now have wooden barricades, and I believe we can get ballistas and stuff like that. We do have a new tech tree as well. Anything with the medieval is new to this mod, so there is lots of things to do. But defensive systems, you get like uh, ballistas, murder holes, catapults. So there's lots to do there. And then for the rest of it, we're mostly just, um, mostly just a tribe. We also have wooden gates as well. Wooden gates to go with your wooden fencing must be manually opened and closed, which slows people down. However, the fencing can keep animals out of your crops and fields fairly useless against attackers. 
So if we want to keep our animals out of our area, then that's the thing that we can do. Um, not going to do that just yet, though. Right, as for materials, I don't know if... I'm assuming we can still make walls out of steel. Let's find out. Let's set that to mine. Get these guys going on that. Right, so... Yes, we can still make walls out of steel. Good. I was wondering if that might end up have been um, something for a different tech tree. I think we might make this our kill box because it's just naturally already set up for that kind of thing. We'll just sort of flatten the wall out a little bit. But yeah, getting that wall sorted is good. We could maybe fence this off to keep the animals out of it. So that's what we want to do later down the line. Right, we do need to start mining into here though and start making some bedrooms and stuff like that. So, let me just plan out first. Let's go in through here. And then we want bedrooms, storage rooms and things like that. So, this is going to be our kitchen stockpile kind of thing. And we can ventilate later on to keep the heat out. We actually might have to double thickness this up now that I think about it because then we can have a cooler there once we get electricity and things like that plus it will stop people getting clogged up in the in the hallways uh, as for bedrooms I guess we're just gonna go maybe we just sort out a barrack of some sort for now just to sort us out briefly yeah maybe that's a good idea how much wood have we got 507. Temporary barracks might not be too bad. Can we make, like, only wooden fencing? Okay. Interesting. Right, I'm going to order this to be bind out anyway. So we know for a fact that's going to be done. And we can refrigerate to a certain degree in there as well. Awesome. We've blocked off one area for the enemies. So if they come from the south, they're probably coming through this kill hole here. And we can solve that quite easily. But we do need to get ourselves some bedrooms, some security as well. Let's also start giving our characters some gear. So you look to be in need of a club. You are a mixed bag of shooting and melee, so I'll give you the feeler. Everybody's sleeping on the ground. It's fine. We've got new colony optimism to hold us out until we decide how we want to proceed. In fact, why not just claim and deconstruct that? Turn that into an indoor barrack for now. That seems like a good idea. We might end up using that anyway for something. Okay, so we seem to have a decent amount of food, hopefully. Might expand later down the line. Kind of just really want to use all of this here. I doubt there's going to be any rich soil hanging around, is there? Nope, not really. So, just got to deal with what we've got. Right, um, have you got a weapon? You do. Ooh, a Mega Scarab. Fair enough. Area revealed. Right, we have idle colonists, so... Let's just... Temporarily... Give them all beds, so... One, two, three, four, five... Build those, you idle colonists. Born, you need a weapon. You good at most things? Nope, just at melee. Purple, you got a weapon? You don't. You're good at melee. Have the knife. Fly? Good at melee again, but kind of good at shooting. Well, you kind of have to have a bow anyway. And then we've got one last person without a weapon. Who is it? Oh no, maybe we don't. Maybe we just have an extra weapon. Fair enough. Fair plays. Oh dear. Right. Anybody want to go mine that? That would be re good of you. Let's start setting up our manual priorities, shall we? Let's just unrestrict all of this stuff. Copy, paste, 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 paste. 
Easy. Right, we want everybody firefighting. We want everybody being a patient except for the doctor, who's going to be patient too. Five, ten for that, five for that. Make you three on doctoring, I guess. Uh, bed rest, yet again. And flicking as well. Right, our warden is going to be you. You can be, in fact, nobody else warden for now. Handling. Make you a two. And the rest of you three for now. I might knock that down later. Make purple a cook. We do need to sort out a cooking area as well. You're six to ten. So make you three. The rest of you don't cook. We'll go through this as it changes as well. Because um, this probably won't be perfect by any stretch. Make you two. And the rest of you three on construction. Growing one, growing one. If it needs doing, then it gets done. Simple as. Right, we'll make you a three on mining. Make you a one on mining. And the rest can be fours. Plant cutting. Four for now. Bump you up to two, Rebello. Leave smithing, crafting and stuff like that alone. And then we'll make you a number two hauler. And a cleaner. Rebello. Make you a three on hauling and cleaning. The rest of you on fours, I think. We don't have a hunter. So the hunter's going to be you, I think. I oh, know you were melee unit. Never mind. Are you... No, you are not a hunter. Well, you've got a ranged weapon, shall I say. Alright, I guess that'll do for now. We don't have a research bench, so I won't select research. That should work a little bit more efficiently, hopefully. Everything should be getting done. Really, probably also should stop them doing mining on that steel, but they're almost done on it anyway, so... Doesn't particularly matter. What is this? Is this plasteel? It is. Awesome. Starvation. Purple. Are we out of food already? Alright then. Let's get hunting. Oh. Oh, you silly person, you. Standing too close while hunting. Alright, let's get ourselves, where am I looking, production, actually we could just start a campfire for now, while we set things up, because you can still cook on campfires, and if we do it outside, it shouldn't make too much of a difference, let's build a campfire there, is there any food we can harvest around here? I don't think so. It is a barren wasteland after all. Right. Add bill. Ooh, jerked meats, dried berries, and agave fruits. Interesting. We do have agave around here. What agave. We do need a butcher's table. That is a thing. I'm just going to quickly construct one right there. And let's cook simple meal, do until we have three, I guess. Alright, this is only temporary. Do forever. Start butchering. There we go. Everybody's eating raw meat. <laughs> For now. Until we order more animals to be murdered. I didn't think we'd go through our pemmican as quickly as we did. We haven't even finished 
even remotely finished our growing zones. Something to consider. Right, well, hunting is becoming a big priority then. I know the Mega Scarabs will attack back, but they're weaklings, so I don't really care. Should we get a door on this? So that they're technically sleeping in doors. Construction failed. Awesome. Alright, well, we've all got beds, so that's the thing. Hmm. And that will last a day and 15 hours. Wonderful. Hunt that. I know it'll explode, but hopefully you're not stupid enough to stand right next to it. You probably are. Maybe giving you a bit too much credit. Ooh, some camels. Dromedaries. Whatever. Whatevs. Just get hunting, because hunting seems to be a major priority for us right now. We don't have the food required to uh, keep this going right now. We have a roofed bedroom. Awesome. Idle colonists. Can't be having that. Right, let's order some mining. In fact, I also want steel there and wooden door there. That may end up being a vent later down the line, but... We'll have to see. Let's haul all of this. Excuse me. Let me just focus on that. Haul all of that, please. Make a dumping stockpile. Let's make it in there for now. Corpses might be blocked by the walls. It should be all right. That's going to be our kitchen slash dining area of sorts. The problem we're going to have is that we need a fueled stove and wood is a bit of a precious resource around here. Hmm. So that might actually become an issue later down the line. We'll have to see. And we're going to have to move that as well. We can't actually move it. We'll have to deconstruct it and rebuild it, but... You get the point. Awesome. Right. Add build. Butch creature do forever. And then cook simple meal. Do until we have five. Sure. Purple's cleaning away. That means we haven't got enough things for you to do. Short table. Let's build it right there. Get some dining chairs fitted. It's nice and cosy now. Get that built. Does this run down? No, it only seems to run down when you're using it, which is good. Okay. Right, we can deconstruct that fire now. Deconstruct that butcher's table. Oh. Nah. Hunting another dromedary. Not a dromedary. Boom up. That's the one. Right, let's make ourselves a fridge of sorts. I don't know what that doing was. I'm guessing it's something fought back and died instantly. Yeah. The Mega Scarab instantly died, but also tried to kill us at the same time. Right, let's turn this bit into a mini fridge. So it's 17 degrees outside. It's 15 inside, which is nice. Want to get a door there and a door there. And we can put the corpses in here and we can use um, passive coolers. Won't put it anywhere near freezing, but it'll get probably cool enough to not start deteriorating really fast. We have visitors and they have items to trade. Right, we want to buy any of their wood and any of their food, pretty much. Ooh, we struck compacting machinery. Might dig this a little further then, if that's the case. Want to order that to be hauled. I'm going to have to get on some defenses pretty soon as well. We're good for now, because the first raid is going to be a guy with a knife, but... 
after that we know all too well that it is not nice from that point forward on trade with Josh please thank you right buy all your pemmican if we can got 10 herbal meds can sell the short bow and wooden boots all right a pair of leather boots with wooden plates strapped on all right let's just uh keep going in fact I don't think we can do this as fast let's go 55 56 there we go sell all of our silver for 56 pemmican I think it's probably worthwhile because food situation isn't exactly the greatest right zone stockpile that right there make it critically important clear all take foods and animal corpses there we go we can get ourselves a passive cooler in there for later. Right, let's order this to be mined out here as well. I want to extend a little bit further. I think south will be our bedrooms and this will be production rooms and things like that. For the time being, this is good though. Looks like we're out of wood, so we're going to have to order some people to cut down some cacti right there. You get a pathetic amount of wood, but it's wood all the same. Might be worthwhile making a growing zone for trees, actually, if that is the case. Like that right there. Let's get... Sorry about that, guys. Apparently I've got an update and it decided to close down my uh, game to do it. All right, Poplar, go. Chop all of that, do all that. In the morning, of course. This does seem like a pretty cool mod, to be honest. We haven't seen a great deal of it, but I like the fact that a lot of it is stuck behind a research tree, which actually means that we have a lot to do. Ice walls. Oh my god, you can make walls out of ice. It's going Game of Thrones on its ass. I wondered why we were doing our thing. Right, let's just leave that there. I guess we'll set that to research, even though we haven't got a research bench, of course. It is... 11 degrees inside there, which is all right, I suppose. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of wood, so getting a growing zone for poplar trees and things like that is probably a good idea. Chop that. Chop that. Give me all the wood. How long is it going to take to get to power? I think it's quite some time away, right? Uh, what is it even under? Electricity, there it is. Need modern casting. Which is this one right here. Which requires advanced smithing systems. So smithing systems. Advanced smithing systems. I guess we've got to go through here. Yeah, we're on the right path to electricity. It's just a long way away. Which is going to be interesting. Another mad animal, a local iguana. Alright, it's one that we set to hunt. So that's alright, I suppose. We'll just have to watch it for now. Oh. Get him, born. Yeah, go on. Alright, help out. This is taking too long. Too many injuries are being had. There we go. Alright. You stop. You beat it to death. And that's another animal then. For another meal. Oh. You're actually hunting it. Fair enough. Alright guys. I think that's going to do it for today's episode. Why are they putting food in there? This is normal quality and this is critical. Just make sure this stops taking food then I guess. Stop it. Uh, don't take pemmican. Don't take kibble. Yeah, that'll do. They should move all that food away from the animals then. Should be good. Alright guys, I'm going to end off the episode here. So if you did enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like. It helps me out a great deal. Let's me know you're still enjoying the series. As always, be sure to hit that little bell icon as well, right next to the subscription button. And that will notify you when I release new videos. I do hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time guys. Bye bye.